What up guys, it's Vi from Sabai Cartel and welcome back to another one of my Widowmaker guides. So today I want to give you guys uh, some beginner tips on Widowmaker and I basically want to tell you guys what to do when you're getting started with Widowmaker. So with that said, let's get right into it. The number one question that a lot of beginner Widowmakers ask is, you know, how can I improve my aim, right? How can I land more shots? And the truth is, the more you play, the better your accuracy is going to get. I mean, there are games, you know, where I don't really get a lot of eliminations, but my accuracy is just like 50%, 55%. Okay, like if you see that your accuracy is slowly going up the more you play Widowmaker, then you are doing a great job. Okay, it's not about eliminations, it's about how much your accuracy improves. At least, of course, when you're starting out, you know, you are going to get to a point where you are going to have to be contributing to your team if you want to be one of those Widowmakers that add a lot of impact into the game. But anyways, some of you guys might be missing a lot of your shots because you see all these great Widowmakers landing headshots and you might want to do the same. The best tip that I can give you guys when you're first starting out with Widowmaker, which is a tip that I followed and it worked perfectly, is always go for body shots. Never go for headshots unless the person is actually standing still. The reason why you always want to go for body shots when you first start out with Widowmaker is because just think about it. You can't even land a headshot. So why are you going to go for headshots? You know, you might as well start small, go for body shots first, and then start going for headshots when you feel confident with those body shots. The next tip that I want to give you guys when you're first starting out with Widowmaker is to avoid the high ground. You basically want to be at a horizontal level because when you're at a horizontal level, it's basically easier for you to land shots. And the reason for that is, is because basically the most aiming that you have to do is from left to right. When you are in the high ground, you have to worry about aiming vertically and horizontally. In other words, you have to worry about uh, moving your reticle up and down and left and right. And that is going to make it very, very hard for you to land shots, specifically if you're a beginner Widowmaker. Remember, you're just starting out Widowmaker. You want to start out with some basic baby steps. The next tip that I want to share with you guys when it comes down to starting out with Widowmaker is extremely crucial guys and this is a mistake that I see a lot of beginner Widowmakers make okay they land a body shot on a soldier and then they just start spamming you know uh, their shots without charging them up guys you always want to charge up your shots I want you guys to look at it this way if you land a body shot on a soldier and then you start spamming your shots without charging them up it's going to take you more time to kill the soldier than if you landed a body shot and then you charge up your shot at least halfway and then you hit the soldier guys i cannot stress this enough the number one tip when it comes down to beginning and starting out with widowmaker or any widowmaker level advanced intermediate you want to charge up your shots you always want to charge up your shots as much as you can okay when it comes down to the grapple, you guys want to use it for the example that you guys are seeing on screen. Only use it for enemies that are jumping on you. Again, you're just starting out with Widowmaker. You're not a crazy Widowmaker yet. You don't have to worry about landing hook shots and using your grapple to be uh, you know, a constant mobile Widowmaker that is going you know, from one place to the other and switching posi positions all the time. You ain't got to worry about none of that. Again, you're just starting out Widowmaker. You don't want to do too much. You want to master the basics first. And basically, you just want to use your grapple to escape enemy combatants. Now, we talk about the Venom Mine. Okay, the Venom Mine is actually pretty simple. I'm just going to give you guys one purpose uh, for your Venom Mine. You just want to lay your Venom, Venom Mine on the ground like that. If a Genji jumps on top of you or a Hanzo comes over to you, uh, you know, the Venom Mine does some damage to him. And you can either finish them off by, of course, uh, you know, spraying your submachine gun or, of course, with some lucky sniper shots because of course remember you are starting out with Widowmaker and your aim isn't that godlike but it's okay you know like even when you have a lot of hours with Widowmaker like you, you you're still going to have games where your aim is just bad you know I mean let's take a look at Kepri one of the best Widowmakers in the world and from time to time if you guys see his stream you guys know that he has some bad games anyways the last tip that I'm going to share with you guys with Widowmaker is before you actually start playing her you guys definitely want to go into the practice range to sort of practice her and get a feel for her and all of that good stuff. The main purpose of the practice range is for you guys to get yourselves in a position where you're familiarized with Widowmaker, where you are basically able to just, uh, you know, land shots on the bot. I mean, remember, you can't land any shots most likely on the uh, actual people, so you might as well practice landing your shots against bots. 
I hope this guide helped you guys out and I hope this guide uh, helped you out when it comes down to getting started with Widowmaker. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop it a like, subscribe to join the Sabaya Cartel and of course check out the Overwatch guides in the description below for more videos like this. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.